So guys, we are group 4. My topic is all about general file management, client file management. Filing system management are necessarily special in law office management. In law offices, to easily find out the documents, articles, and laws. Law office files are sensitive because a lot of documents in law offices are live cases or not. Make sure that this is secure. And filing system management are the methods how you organize your paperwork. What can be done? As a difficult task, that file management can be, it isn't impossible. The time and effort that goes into file management at a law office will impact the overall management of office. Yan. Ang sinasabi lang dyan na. Kailangan din ng time and effort dito para 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 maayos yung pagkakalagay ng mga files at madali lang mahanap paghahanapin ito. Sabi dito, of the office will impact the overall management of the office. Yan, malaking impact yun sa isang law offices pag madali lang nila nahanap yung mga bagay na kailangan nila hanapin. Bagay ng mga laws tsaka ng mga live cases or not. There are few things that can be easily done for a law offices to remain organized and develop an efficient file management system. First is dispose of unnecessary requests. Um, papikliin ko na lang kasi mahaba ito. Not all files in law office need to be kept until the end of time or until the office closes. And hindi lahat ng mga files ay kailangan mong itago. Lalo na pagka na-reach na nito yung conclusion na tapos na ang case, pwede na yun i-dispose. And if na-approve na yung file, na dispose yung retention policy na tinatawag ay yung is ano, uh, separate groups. Being separate in order like this storage room para sa active cases files. Tapos yung next group naman is para sa mga closed cases and etc. Uh, ginag, ano to? Kaya meron tong separate groups ito para ano, um, para easily, easy na lang ano, paghanap ng files. Hindi na may rapid ng staff para maghanap pa ng mga files kung saan saan. At least sa separate groups alam mo kung finish na ba yung cases na to or yung case na to is ano ba active tapos para maiwasan din yung ano mis misplacement ng mga files tsaka yung accidental error yung pangatlo ano upgrade when necessary making upgrades to the file management system that law office has in place is going to be needed often more than once uh, yung upgrade when necessary Siyempre mag-upgrade ka kapag yung company nyo or yung law offices nyo ay nag-grow na. Kasi siyempre marami na yung naiiwan na, ano eh, na mga files dun. Yung mga hindi pa nadidispose. Kaya siyempre ayaw mo naman mahirapan yung stop mo. Kasi masikip yung workplace. Tsaka necessarily na mag-upgrade ka ng layout ng, tsaka ng spacing ng storage room. Last is, back it up. Losing or damaging files. Backup is for digital files and physical files. See from different storage, the original copies, the original and office files. Um, dito naman, ano, pumapasok yung ano, sa paperwork. Kung gusto mo siya, it runs for to digital files using ano fax machine, you can transfer your paperwork to digital files and save it to your backup storage. Ang maganda dito ang gawin at isa na, ihiwalay mo yung original sa, sa copy lang. Paper and physical files. Paper files have been the norm for law offices for as long as law offices have existed. While is 
possible for a, for a law office to successfully operate with the combination of paper and digital files. Um, um, pagkakaintindi ko naman dito ay ano. Ito yung mga kadalasan nakikita natin sa loob ng mga opisina. Sa mga documents bins. Tawag ba ito? Ito yung mga ex existing na ano. Uh, na mga nakakasanayan ng mga government or law offices na. Some things that need to be kept in mind with paper and physical file management. First is storage options. While it's not always possible to keep, keeping physical files in central location that is accessible to staff is often the recommendation option for storage. Yan. Dumadalasin natin may kita yung ano. Nasa central location lang siya. Like mga tables. Doon lang nakapatang yung ibang, ibang files na nakikita natin sa TV man yan o sa mga offices na napapasukan natin. Siyempre, meron ting disadvantage yun. Kung... At siyempre, para ma-prevent yung disadvantage na yun, para hindi masira yung files, yung files should be held in container file, cabinet bins, etc. designed to keep out the moisture, bugs, and sand like yun yung mga ist space issues well, uh, well storage space can be a problem for digital files storage it is not as severe as the issues that arise with storing physical files a single document will take up more space in physical form than it will in a digital format Yan, sinasabi lang dito is yung ano, pagka naka-physical format siya, mas makakakain ng malaking space sa work, workplace mo. Kesa naman pag naka-digital format, yung files na yan. Kasi pag naka-digital format ka, magbibase ka lang naman sa MB tsaka sa GB. Ang gano'n ba kalaki yan? Digital files. Law offices are going digital with their files because of the benefits them that technology can give them. Files are much more accessible in digital format which makes it easier to stop to find, manage, alter, and basically do anything to a file that they need. Yan. Mga law offices yan at mga companies mas pinaprepare nila na yung files nila is digital na kasi more accessible pa kasi lahat naman ng mga stock ngayon kaya gumamit ng computer yun tas mapiprevent din na ito yung misplacement ng mga files kasi andun na yun madali lang mga hanapin kasi si search mo lang sa search bar tapos malilis na ito yung yung valuable, valuable space sa opisina mo kasi Siyempre, sa technology, sa computer na uh, nagsisip ng mga files niya. Siyempre, yung mga physical files na doon, mababawasan na, hindi na siya madadagdagan. Last is yung ano, software options. There are literally hundreds of file management software programs available to professional businesses. Uh, dito, mapasok yan, yung mga so software na pwede mong paglagyan mga legal files mo. Tapos yung iba sensitive natures, nature of such files. Companies that generate legal document management software's product include yung, for, yung example ng mga software na ginagamit for legal storing files. My case, Abacus Law, Meru's, and Legal Works. Tapos meron din yung ano, yung kung saan pwede ka maglagay ng mga files mo. Yung Google, like Google Drive, tapos yung Microsoft 365 and Apple. Yan, yan yung mga ano, software na pwede mong paglagay ng mga digital files mo. Tapos alam ko yung Google, Microsoft, tsaka Apple, 
may mga bayad yung ano niya. Kung gano'ng kataas yung ano. Storage capacity. The cloud as part the growth in technological usage in law office management. Cloud storage is becoming more and prevalent. For those who do not to know what is the cloud, what the cloud is. Yung cloud na sinasabi, ano, para siyang backup storage mo. Actually, backup storage talaga siya. Through online, na pwede ka maglagay ng mga files data that can be uploaded. Yan, kagaya na ng Google Drive. Yan yung isa sa mga kadalasan na ginagamit ng mga tao ngayon, ng mga teachers, estudyante. Kagaya namin ito kami nag Upload ng mga files namin, ipapasa namin through WhatsApp. Then yung cloud storage is often a subscription service. Yan, Yan yung sasabi ko kanina. Pag napuno na yung capacity ng storage na yun, yung next upgrade ng data sizes is ano, may bayad na. Diary systems. In addition to ensuring that limitations dates are met, there are many other ways that a separate date or a bring forward system can help lawyers manage files. Diary system is maintaining to utilize time and complete tasks and appointments in a very effective and efficient way. It helps the organization as a whole and helps the lawyer and the other people's time too. Diaries can be maintained either manually, one manually or, or electronically. These are the examples of diary system. Yung A. Keeping track of due dates for kasi mga nilalaman niya ito is yung ano. Serving statements of claim, filing motions of briefs of loss, filing of corporate annual returns, so not be keeping track of renewal dates, so more judgments, execution, C, escape, C keeping track of appearance dates in chambers, trial courts, and bank bankruptcy. Yung diary system para doon mo makikita yung, ano, yung mga mangyayari sa araw na yun. Kung um, darating ba yung lawyer sa deadline na nakalagay. There are many different ways that a diary or bring forward system can be implemented in the office including the following. A. The file notation system. The information is basically on the file. Example, the green, the green forward date is noted on the outside file cover. Yun yung may, kunyari yung file mo to sa harap na may nakapatong siya na date para bubunutin mo na lang kung anong date yung files na kukuhain mo sa araw na yun. Ganun. So, not is yan. Desk diary system. Similar to the above diary system, the lawyer notes the file and tasks to, task to be done in his or her daily diary. Plus is the clear system. A review of the file itself is not used as a reminder. Instead, the file name in this list of the task to be done are noted in diary or on the index, index card. So, for kunyari mga natapos na sa araw na yun, must be written in the diary para noted lagi yung lawyer. The Autos organizer was a personal information manager. It was initially developed by Threads, a small British shop perhaps. Reaching version 3.0 organizer was subsequently acquired by Lotus Development Corporation. It is a Software that organizes your daily routine in offices. For example, sa na picture sa baba, kita mo yung isa siyang software sa computer. 
na pwede mo iset at ng date for example ito sa holidays ng January naka include dito yung New Year's Day J and so on yeah. yan dito mo makikita yung ano, example ng Lotus Organizer yan Tapos, next is yung ano, common issues with filing management. File management, well, it does have its benefits. Can have issue that prove to be problematic for the offices that are unprepared for them. Files can be misplaced, have errors or be damaged or destroyed due to poor storage. Then, dito yung may kita mo lang na problem dito is yung destroy due to poor storage. Sometimes, ano, mararanasan mo na ano, mawarap yung mga digital files mo. Like, parang ano na masira na gano. There is also the issue of security. Information, if sensitive yung information about the cases, siyempre, must be secured for the safety assurance of the clients and the case. File damage or destruction as mentioned on several points in this article there are numerous factors that can put the safety of a file at risk include to it being damaged or destroyed. The environmental factors alone are problematic like human errors, carelessness, computer viruses, and system crashes. Yung human errors. Dapat yung staff must be carefully on what him, his, or her doing, especially in law offices. Law offices files are sensitive yung computer virus naman ito yung mga hindi natin inaasahan na biglaan na lang biglaan na lang nangyayari at yung system process yun yan isa sa mga problema ng digital file and kaya nagda-destroy human and data errors people are flawed being and they can make mistake. Yan, we all know naman that nobody is perfect. Yeah. Pero kaya naman yun, ilis pagka dapat lagi tayo nag-relearn sa mga mali na ginagawa natin. Yung digital files are prone to computer based errors, file corruption, glitches, bad typing, and software problems. Yan, kagaya ng sinabi ko kanina. Yung mga typo, mga typo Graphical errors, yan isa sa mga problema ng ano, digital files. Tsaka yung mga paper naman, ano, can be caused by things like fading, bad hand, bad hand writing, or tears. Yan. yan yung mga problem nila, mga human data errors. Handling client files as a legal secretary. For after a brief period of working law office, you will quickly learn why people who collect rather quickly in the field of law. Yeah. In handling client files as a legal secretary, uh, accordion file folder, these larger expandable files allow for the addition of a multitude of documents. Yung accordion file folder, dito lalagay yung lahat ng files mo client para siyang attach attach case something like attach case the, the importance of the legal file it is absolutely vital to keep up the records of all correspondence created on behalf of any client or field against the client yun All particular item may seem copies of which 
must be added in client file including all legal papers, letters, certified mails, receipts, feed, FedEx receipts, and anything else that pertains to the house or matter be deal with it. Siyempre, kailangan mo magbigyan ng importance yung file ng client mo. Para sa assurance rin nila sa information na binigay nila sa lawyer nila. Ganun. Yun yung base uh, based on my opinion lang. Creating new files. As soon as your attorney is retained by a client, you must create a file for, a, for the client. Method will vary from firm to firm and you should always follow firm or individual office procedure to the letter. However, there are standard rules to the file creation will be tackled below. Standard procedure for starting new file is as follows. Ito number one, yung procure new archivogen file folder. First thing first, you must provide a new accordion file folder for filing the files of the, your client. Dito mo nilalagay yung ano, example yung mga yung cases, letters, receipts. And number two, add the client's name by either writing it with a black marker or by adding a type label. The name should be written or the label should be affixed to the top left right corner. Yan. Yan ang formal na pagsisulat ng pangalan. Sa top left o kaya sa right corner ng folder. Number 3. With the accordion file folder, should be added a manila folder that you may or may not label right away. Number four, leave this file available for the day in the event that your attorney would like to add more to it before filing. Updating existing files. As mentioned, a copy of each and every piece of correspondence needs to be added to the file as it goes out. Make sure that all files are completely up to date by the time at the end of every week, what file should be updated at the end of every day, especially the active file cases. Kasi active siya kailangan daging naka-update kung may bago kung ano bang nadagdag na kaso o mga na-indis ko ba doon sa case na yun. Filing and archiving and use files. Filing documents into their proper places should be done at least once or twice a week on active files of open. Often, a case has a deal or is tied up or joined dismiss. If a case has been won, lost, settled, dismissed, or closed, and the file is no longer needed, is or being used. It may be archive. It means that, parang ano, itatago mo lang siya sa ano, sa place na may kita mo para if active pa yung case na yun, ma-update mo agad. Kasi yung archive parang ano lang siya. Um... There is usually a section of file space allocated for files that need to be achieved. There may be outstanding paperwork or documents still coming in for a particular file that should be achieved. And hindi mo siya i-dispose, parang itatago mo lang siya sa isang storage na lahat ng case na yun. Is dismissed na one. Kaya i-archive mo na siya i-keep mo na lang siya. Legal documentation differs from standard office documents in several ways because often many parties are involved 
In one case, it is important that each individual involved receive copy of any document sent or filed on behalf of the client. Important documents will nearly always be sent out by a special messenger, like FedEx, United Parcel Service, Certified Mail, and Return Receipt Request Requested. These are the example of legal documents, corporate bylaws, non-disclosure agreements, purchase agreements, employment contracts, loan agreements, employment and independent contractor agreements. And a uh, legal document is concerning of a legal matter and document drawn up by a lawyer. Proper formatting for various standard documents. All letters should follow. Should always be printed on letterhead if available and should follow the basic block form, which means all align left. Yun yung basic, three basic yung styles ng letters yung block. Semi block tsaka modified block pen with the exec exception of the sender information which is centered at the top of the page. If letterhead paper is not available, then the attorney firm name, address, and phone and fax number should be typed in below is a sample cover letter and motion the appellate division form. Siguro, maglalagay na ako na example ng, ng proper formatting for various standards documents. That's all.